A new world of my design shall emerge from the chaos. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the imperial court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The imperial court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. This is a most deplorable sight. I never expected to see the land in such a poor and wretched state. Cao Cao. He was the cousin of both Shaho Yuan and Shaho Dun. A man of keen judgment and decisive personality, he got his start as a low ranking official in Luo Yang. Upon receiving orders to assist in the efforts to put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion, he made his way to the Central Plains. However, his keen insight caused him to look beyond the situation at hand to what lay ahead. In their poverty, the people rose up and cast out the evil that was plaguing the land. Yet, those same people in their turn turned to pillaging and plunder in order to support their newly found power. Clearly without rules, there is not much separating people from mere beasts. Ah, my lord, there you are! You can't be going off on your own like this. You're responsible for an actual army now! So, that is you as a lord. You do have your own sense of honor, do you not? This isn't the time for jokes. I'm simply trying to do my best here, given the situation. Oh, that reminds me. Cousin Dune was looking for you. We should go meet up with him. Cao Cao, did you find what it was you were looking for? That's why you agreed to help put down the yellow turbans, right? Indeed. Though I served as an official in Luoyang, I never really saw the plight of the people. However, the world is in more trouble than I ever anticipated. The wretched state of this region appears to have been caused by more than just the yellow turbans. There must be something else behind it as well. Hmm? Excuse me. I heard that you are here to help put down the yellow turbans. Yes, that is correct. 
Are you also a member of our cause? My name is Soon Jiang. Like you, I am part of the subjugation force assembled by the Imperial forces. I've just received word from our scouts that a Yellow Turban army is marching on this village. Could I ask you to assist with its defense? This village has already seen more than its fair share of suffering. We would be honored to help defend it. You have my gratitude. Now, let us repel the darkness of tyranny wherever it may arise. We shall eliminate these yellow turban rebels that are targeting the village. Xiao Dun, Xiao Yuan, come with me. See you! Now's our chance to attack the village! Let's go, you rebel! Who are you, be, eh? You got guts picking a fight with the yellow turban. We have driven off the yellow turban army that was headed this way. That should keep them at bay for the time being. Ah, you did it! I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. If only the rest of our army was as capable as you, I would not have had to trouble you so. I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province. I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for him. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion Huh. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I- You're right about that. I'm beginning to suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should- Now then! Let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. Are you also with the assembled Imperial forces? We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The Yellow Turbans themselves began as suffering peasants. I would like to bring salvation to them also, but unfortunately that seems impossible. I see. You are not here for personal gain, but out of concern for the people. I admire your resolve, but it will not be easy. It... Our only choice is to do whatever it takes to end this rebellion as quickly as possible. It may seem heartless, but in the end, it will save even more lives. Get on in here! Come again! Anything. 
Please, take this. The time of the Han has ended. Long live the Yellow Turbans. Hmm. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the Yellow Turbans keep saying. There are many who are dissatisfied with the corruption that runs rampant in the government, even if they are not part of this uprising. Even if we slay Zhang Jiao and quell this rebellion, another is likely to rise up in its place. I cannot help but feel their sentiment about the Han is correct. Well, we can't simply let things continue on as they are. The longer this rebellion goes on, the more people will be drawn to its cause. Not only that, but a land under the Yellow Turbans just doesn't sound all- Hmm. You are both right. No matter how righteous one's cause is, they are simply mere bandits if they approach him. For now, we need to eliminate Zhang Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then, we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. Excuse me!
Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Thank you very much. I will not stop until I slay the Yellow Turban leader, Zheng Zhao. There is no room in this land for those who operate outside the law. Thank you. What just happened? Soldiers just appeared out of nowhere! <gasps> Such a simple feat. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Just watching you! <gasps> now, take defensive positions! <laughs> This should enable us to break through the enemy lines. Lord Zheng Zhao will avenge my defeat. Just you wait and see. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
let them win for now. Destroy the enemy. Yeah. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Drop your weapons and surrender. All that you are doing is confusing the people and disrupting the natural order. Not a chance. I will never surrender. I will have faith in the power of the heavens and fight so until the end! You. Ha! Say hey! The power of the heavens is channeled through my earthly being. See if you can tell which is the real one. Some 
excellent fighting. Sorcery, brother. You must say, carry on our dream. We have broken through the enemy lines. We must use this momentum to push forth. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Oh, that's some excellent fighting. <laughs> 